If you want to see how complicated and confusing taxes are, read through this old issue for easy digital downloads. You can see the developers and community members talk about how to handle a new type of tax, where that code should live, and who it gets applied to. One specific thing that's really complex for merchants is the EU VAT tax. And before you skip this video, this does apply to both merchants in the EU and merchants outside of the EU, so it applies to everyone. Now, this page here is an unofficial guide, but it's one of the best organized guides to understanding EU VAT tax. I'll summarize it as best as I can. If you sell digital products to the EU, you have to collect and remit those taxes. You may think because you live outside of the EU that you do not have to comply with any of their tax laws, which is entirely understandable. And if you read through that GitHub issue, that's what many of the developers say. However, without getting into the details, there are mechanisms that the EU can use to get your country to collect taxes from you that you didn't pay. I haven't actually seen this play out yet, because number one, it's still a brand new tax. And number two, this law was created for larger retailers like Amazon that do huge amounts of business online. Even though it was written for large companies, small companies still have to comply. So reach out to your tax professional about how you can collect and submit taxes to the EU. Some e-commerce platforms have services that do this for you, but I haven't seen anything reliable like that for easy digital downloads. So there are a couple of options. The first is what I mentioned earlier. Work with a tax professional, figure out how to collect and pay EU VAT. You'll add a few extra rows to your tax settings page, and at the end of the year, you'll send in a few more taxes. The second is to not actually sell goods to the EU. This free plugin will let you do this so that you can avoid this whole issue. And this actually isn't a bad idea for a store just getting started. For some of the companies I've worked with, the EU might only be 10% of your sales, which is relatively small. So if the potential income doesn't cover the cost of paying a tax professional, then you could prevent those sales and not have to worry about this. The third option is to read through the rules here and only sell digital goods that aren't taxed. In short, anything digital is covered but anything with a human element isn't covered. So if you sold an online course for $100, that would have to be taxed. If you sold a one-hour consultation plus a free online course, that would not be taxed by the EU VAT laws. So for your European customers, you could prevent them from purchasing courses and only allow them to purchase consultations with a free course. Before you take this route, I definitely recommend you consult with a tax professional to make sure you're doing it right. You can also look over the third-party list of extensions listed on the Easy Digital Downloads website. And lastly, there are the official tax-related extensions. Right now, there isn't anything great that automatically collects and remits the tax for you. If I were just getting started, I would block sales to the EU until you know you have a big enough seller. Then, you can pay for a tax professional to give you the professional advice in this area to figure out how to actually get sales from EU customers and send in the taxes.